Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video let's talk about the new Snapdragon uh, chipsets and there is a lot of confusion about it regarding 5G. For example, uh, this is the new Realme X50 Pro and this was the IQ and both are sort of 5G smartphones coming with the new Snapdragon 865 chipset. But strangely, this IQ also has a variant that is just 4G and technically that is not correct with the Snapdragon 865. So let's talk about it. And guys, let's just go back uh, a little bit prior to this uh, what do you say snapdragon 865 then i'll come to the snapdragon 865 and clear the confusion before this we also had the snapdragon 855 chipset and guys if you recall the snapdragon 855 also actually had 5g option there were some models not sold in india and us that had the 5g capabilities the thing is that with the snapdragon 855 the integrated modem on the chipset was actually a 4g but if vendors wanted 5g they could get with the uh, they could uh, add on the x50 what do you say uh, modem and that provided 5g capability so uh, 5g capabilities were also there with the snapdragon 855 but the vendors had to uh, separately purchase the x50 uh, chipset but 4g this uh, all these uh, things were already integrated in the chipsets itself. In fact, this is a uh, uh, similar scenario for all the Qualcomm chipsets uh, from 2014. That means, uh, for example, if you even look at the Snapdragon popular chipsets like A20, uh, even the mid-range series, all actually have the 4G modem built into it. Uh, vendors didn't have to pay separately for a 4G uh, modem. It was in integrated. In fact, the Snapdragon uh, 855 had the 7 nanometer what do you say x24 modem integrated which provided the 2g 3g 4g capabilities so that has been the case but now for these new snapdragon 865 what qualcomm has done is that uh, the modem is actually not integrated with the chipset it's actually a separate chip and that's the snapdragon uh, uh, what is x55 modem and the thing is that now if vendors want to give radio capabilities what what is the use of your smartphone if it doesn't have the radio the radio means that 3g 4g and 5g capabilities they have to go with this x55 uh, what do you say modem and with this x55 modem you get both 4g and 5g capabilities so it's not like vendors if they want only 4g they can get it the x55 has both the 4g and 5g capability so every what do you say a new snapdragon 865 chipset is actually 5g ready because you are getting that 5g uh, qualcomm does not make a separate what do you say uh, modem uh, just for uh, for what do you say 865 that has just 4g so again this iq uh, i was also very confused what iq did on their higher end unit we have that 5g but uh, they also have some lower end variants that are just 4g enabled so essentially it's having the x55 they are just disabling or for just marketing reasons they calling it just 4g ready because if you look at this realme x50 pro this was also recently launched this is also having the snapdragon 865 so it also has the uh, x55 uh, modem and all models of this one are actually 5g ready so again guys this is a little bit confusion some vendors are trying to play the marketing game and all those things all snapdragon 865 smartphone have 5g capabilities yes that comes uh, to the question uh, does qualcomm lower the uh, price if they disable 5g that is something i don't know for example as you know you have to buy that x55 modem uh, for uh, what do you say uh, radio capabilities you get 4g and 5g but maybe there's a very big vendor let's say example of oneplus they might be ordering like let's say 5 million chips from qualcomm and they might say in a country like india here 5g simply does not make any sense so maybe uh, let's say the price of the x55 uh, is about 30 dollars that uh, they might uh, negotiate with qualcomm because they are giving us such a big order let's say we don't uh, we'll disable the 5g via firmware though physically it's there can you give us uh, at a slightly lower price that can happen uh, so that might be a case uh, but I don't know how it works uh, but essentially from a hardware perspective uh, the Snapdragon 865 chipsets all are 5G ready that hardware is there the X55 chip that we have uh, supports both 4G and 5G so that ends the confusion and uh, it's not like uh, what do you say we don't have 5G chipsets uh, uh, where this 5G modem is uh, not integrated itself like earlier Snapdragon chipset for example the Snapdragon 7 65 that's a mid-range uh, chipset 
here in fact qualcomm has integrated the 5g inside the chip itself but again 5g comes in two flavors guys if you don't uh, know 5g uh, has two bands of frequency one is a millimeter wave so here you get very high speeds for example some of the us carriers have that you have seen some speed tests from western youtubers showing speeds of 800 900 megabit uh, that is because of millimeter wave but again it has to have a direct uh, line of sight and other is the sub six uh, uh, gigahertz band uh, this is a lot more popular so these are two the advantage of the snapdragon uh, what do you say 865 with the x55 modem is that it supports both the millimeter wave as well as sub 6 uh, gigahertz uh, whereas many of the other solutions for example the upcoming snapdragon uh, what do you say 765 uh, uh, actually supports only the sub 6 uh, gigahertz wave so again this is a difference that you need to know yes this qualcomm has made a little bit complicated Complex, but this is how it goes essentially i would say every snapdragon 865 device essentially has the 5g hardware baked into it it's not like you just get a 4g only device i hope this clears the confusion and in fact i would uh, also link to an excellent article by xda check that out it talks about it in detail anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video anyways guys if you aren't subscribed hit that subscribe button anyways catch you guys later